So for those of you that caught it over on TikTok, the Brandon Blackwood Fall Winter 23 Runway, I'm so excited. Okay guys, so seriously, this is a crash course in everything new coming to Brandon Blackwood for Fall Winter 2023. Now, why you ask, what, what's the rush? All the new products drop this Friday, so get ready, get your pencils out, take notes, start putting your bookmarks on your Safari browser because you guys, seriously, he's bringing it once again and I am so freaking excited. Before we dive in though, hey guys, my name's Caleb. I post luxury and lifestyle related content every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday. If that's something you're into, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. Consider becoming a member. We have a fun, really cool Discord member meetups. I teased my new Birkin, which is being unveiled here super soon over on the Discord in a special live chat moment. It is the Vibe 100, check it out. But what are we talking about today? We are diving into everything new and beautiful from the house of Brandon Blackwood. Now, I'm a recent convert. I had wanted the Arlen bag for a really long time, but once the Jasmine came out, I mean, can we even? Like, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. It's giving all the Hermes Kelly meets Fendi Peekaboo, and it is literally perfection. Like, name a better bag to go to lunch with. I'm waiting. You couldn't do it? Great, didn't think so. Seriously, that bag is fabulous. And the best part, $175 USD. In 2023 luxury handbag prices, how is that even possible? All right, guys, so like I said, mark your calendars. This Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So they said the same thing last time when I got this from the last drop, and I feel like they were live a little bit before that, so maybe start checking around like 8.30 Eastern Time, like set your alarms, because you guys, some of these bags are absolutely phenomenal. Now, the first one I want to share with you guys is the Naya bag. Everyone loves the Naya bag. It's giving all the Fendi baguette gives without the Fendi baguette price and about twice the style. This bag, you guys, is so seriously sick. So for this season, it's coming on a lot of shearling options. We're seeing a lot more treatments, materials, if you will, across his product lineup. But my absolute favorite, and my husband's already said no to it, and I might just have to do it anyway, is the Antelope Naya bag. Wear like a nice shearling trench and like some Ugg boots. And this is the perfect bag for fall winter 2023. I'm loving it because it has that beautiful antelope fur on the exterior. Yes, he does use a lot of like exotics, snake, lizard, fur, you name it, but he does it really well. Some, some houses it can look a little tacky with, but like he nails it. You have two shoulder straps. So you have the shorter one that can just go up on the shoulder or like the crook of the arm for like a hay kind of moment, or you can switch that out and go crossbody or wear them both at the same time. We love a verse clean around here. Deny it, it's something he's been doing for a few seasons now. It is a perennial classic in the house of Brandon Blackwood, and what I love most, you can tell when a designer is paying attention to the materials that they're using, because the back of the antelope bag and his fur bags is just the smooth leather. Because you have to think about it, if you're going to have that fur up against the body, especially something that is being worn crossbody, you're going to get balding, it's going to look gross, it's going to look sad after, you know, a season or two. Not with the Naya bag, it is perfection. Next up, we have this super cute little bag called the Mini Valentina. Price-wise, $285. Hello, can you even? I love that it has the two gold chain handles, worn top handle, but you could attach like another crossbody strap if you wanted to. Brandon Blackwood discreetly and subtly emblazoned on the one end. You have a little bit of ruching, and he uses really decent leather too. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. It is, it's good. Now, next up is the Courtney, and he's been doing the Courtney for quite a while. I think it's another one of his perennial staples. However, with this antelope fur, like, I can you even? So for this season, the Courtney bag, it's coming on the antelope. It's also coming out in a multicolor snake skin, which she's done before. This bag is oh so good in the antelope. I am just such a sucker for a fur bag. And once again, just like the Naya, the back is smooth leather, aside from the Brandon Blackwood and gold letters. Ugh, he nails it each and every time, you guys. Like, this bag is so freaking good. And I just love the drama of the fur. It's 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 a moment. Now, speaking of like the luxe materials that he's known for using, he does a really good job with snakeskin. I almost bought the jasmine in snakeskin. Decided not to at the last minute. Low-key regret it. And I need to go back and just buy the snakeskin version because like I said, it is 100% one of my favorite bags, especially weekends in the city. But what I really love is that he does them in neat shapes. So next up, we have the mini duffel. I think this is new for Brandon Blackwood, and I've chosen the yellow spotted snakeskin. I think it's going to come in a few different colors, but yeah, I, I love a good snakeskin. So this is super cute. It's almost like the Louis Vuitton Papillon. Um, however, it's going to come with the option of crossbody, unlike the, the vintage ones. I think the new ones can go crossbody, but the old ones couldn't. Mark my word on that. 
Again, fabulous, beautiful, and I love the pop of yellow that comes with the snakeskin. It's, it's, it's a moment. She, she's here to be seen. Now, I love the Naya so freaking much. It is, it, is, it is the icon of the moment. It's giving it all that perfect Fendi bag of energy once again, but on a smaller scale, and I couldn't pick. So there are two colorways coming out for fall, winter 2023, and I love them both. And the best part at this price point, you can have them both, love them both, choose them both. It's a moment. So first up, we're going to look at the metallic silver leather. What I love about this one, he departs from the gold hardware and goes like full on glossy silver with the silver metallic leather i mean can we even she she's going to the club she's being seen she, she wants to be she wants to be noticed and you have to think too like fall winter 2023 we have a lot of holiday parties coming up get togethers work events you're gonna need a cute little bag and mini naya is gonna be the one to do it for you i promise you that however we couldn't just stop at the silver leather no 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 you know me I had to talk about some snakeskin. If I got a Naya bag and I'm not allowed to get the antelope, this one might be it. I'm not gonna lie. So the medium Naya bag in the denim snakeskin, it's this beautiful shimmery cold pool kind of blue of a color with gold hardware, which kind of warms it up. I think if he had done silver, she would have been a bit of an ice queen, but with that gold, warms it up. She's ready for the party. Oh, I'm seeing it on the model now. It is such a vibe. Like this is a good shade of blue. You all know I'm obsessed with my Hermes Blue Jean Kelly. I love a good shade of sky blue. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I'm basic like that. But but with the snake skin, it's really taking it to that next level. And the gold B, I have nothing else to say. This bag is perfection. All right, guys, four more bags we're gonna plow through. I promise there's just so much good stuff not to share all with you guys. But he's reimagined the Kendrick trunk. Yes, his iconic, like, go-to bag. And he's redone the trunk, and I think it's I think it's good because a lot of us are complaining about how the trunk opens. I've tried several on over at Saks Fifth Avenue here in Chicago. I was lucky enough to get my hand on the gold and the blue crystal ones. Gorgeous, didn't bring them home because that opening, it can be a little small, a little tight. So he's made it slim. He's, he's shortened it, which makes it a little less deep. Obviously shorter, less deep. Uh, Good verbiage there. I love the slim profile of this one. It's gonna be easier to get things in and out, a card holder, if you will. You're not gonna have all that bulk up top. And again, parties are coming up. Like COVID is still around, but I feel like people are getting out partying more and, and kind of getting back to life cocktail parties. Like imagine walking in with like a hostess gift and this on your arm. Now this one he's done before, but they're showing it as part of the Fall Winter 23 collection. And I wanted this the first time it came out. This is the Arlen bag. It is fabulous. It is everything. And they're showing it in this metallic green cracked leather, which is like acid. It, I love a good acidy green, like with my Telfarb tote, the big one, I went with the highlighter green because give me all like that, that violent neon in your face shade of green. I'm there. His bags are, are kind of double duty. A lot of them will go top handle, crossbody, everything in between. Once again, he's paired this with the silver hardware and it has feet on the bottom. You all know I love a good foot moment on my bags, head out of the gutter. But speaking of feet, the shoes that he's debuting now too are 100% a vibe. Two more bags, I promise, and I've saved the best for last. So stick with me, stay, stay tuned. Next up, we have the long evening bag. Again, we're getting back to parties, events, premieres. premieres. I'm not going to premieres. Are you going to premieres? If you are, invite me, I'll be your plus one. But this is the long evening bag, currently priced at 215 and the silver crackle leather. Again, 100% a vibe, can be carried by the little top handle, in the hand, clutch moment. She's cute. I rushed through that one because I have to talk about this one. I missed out when the Lisa and the Mink went on sale earlier this year. It was like $350, I think. I was on the Birkin journey, so I wasn't buying anything. Did I mention I bought a Birkin? Unboxing coming soon. But the Lisa was like, oh my gosh, that'd be like my next perfect bag. However, leave it to Brandon Blackwood. He, he's done one better. This is the Utah bag. I love it in the brown oil leather. So I have the black oil leather here in my Jasmine. It is a beautiful, soft, almost calfskin, but a lot more durable, if you will. So it's gonna have the gold chains on the top, adjustable crossbody, and it's got feet on the bottom as well. For shades of brown, I think he really picks good, rich, deep, almost 70s, 80s shades of brown, which a lot of people don't do anymore in their design. So I 100% respect the vibe. And gold hardware, hello, gold and brown, how much more classic can you possibly get? Add a little chain and I'm there. Again, get your head out of the gutter. But no, this bag, you guys, is fabulous. It's a flap, it's classic, it's crossbody, it's everything Brandon Blackwood. Like I said, guys, get ready because this Friday, 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, the drop is gonna happen, and these bags are priced to go. So like, the Jasmine, 
$275. Like you had to fight to get the classic colors. I think the white with the silver is still available at $275. The Python is $550. Yes, I check regularly. So yeah, be ready, be ready to check out, you know, get everything that you wanted picked out. And if this is your first time buying a Brandon Blackwood, trust me, you will not be disappointed. I love his bags. The quality is amazing. The price is phenomenal. Like I said, 2023, a new handbag under $1,000. Is it possible? It is if you catch the drop. Thank you for joining me today. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of the runway show. What's your favorite new bag for the fall winter season? I'll catch you guys in the next one. Maybe it'll be a Berkman unboxing. I don't know. Anyway, guys. Stay safe. Bye-bye.